day, Grade 6 learners, and welcome to another fantastic Science Day of discovering new ideas and lessons here in Sir Chris Science Channel. Our topic for today is based on the most essential learning competency, which is to demonstrate how sound, heat, light, and electricity can be transformed. So today, we're going to study energy. Energy is the ability of an object to do work. So it takes energy to play or to stand up. Remember that we need energy for everything we do. Major kinds of energy. One is potential energy and the other one is is kinetic energy. So potential energy is an energy that is stored in an object at rest. Potential energy is the energy that an object has stored as a result of its position or state. For example, a bicycle on the top of a hill, a book held above your head, and a stretched spring or rubber band are all potential energy sources. Okay, so here are some examples of potential energy. A stretch rubber band, a runner preparing to run, and a bicycle at top of the hill. Okay, kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is energy in motion. So kinetic energy is the energy that an object has as a result of its motion. Example, a ball rolling on the ground. Here are some examples of kinetic energy. So once an object is in motion, it has kinetic energy. So anything that moves has kinetic energy. Potential and kinetic energy come in different forms. One is mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, electrical energy, sound energy, thermal or heat energy, and nuclear energy. Let us study them one by one. Okay, first, we have mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is a form of energy possessed by moving objects. So here are some examples of mechanical energy. So everything that moves has mechanical energy or anything that moves as mechanical energy. Number two is chemical energy. So chemical energy is a form of energy stored in materials or substances. Food from plants and animals contain chemical energy. So here are examples of objects that contain chemical energy. So we have Spark crackers, battery or dry cell, fruits, and fuels such as gasoline. Next, we have radiant or light energy. So radiant or light energy is a form of energy produced by glowing objects that travels in an empty space. It can be in form of light, ultraviolet rays, X-rays and radiation. Here are some examples of radiant energy. So the the sun has radiant energy. A lighted bulb, an X-ray is an example of radiant energy. Number four, electrical energy. Electrical energy is energy produced by moving. Electron. So, electrical energy is simply electricity. 
There are two types of electrical energy. One is static electricity. The static electricity is produced when two different materials are rubbed to each other. For example, when you rub a balloon through your hair, static electricity is produced. So another one is the current electricity or also known as flowing electricity. So the electrical energy that we use to power our home appliances is known as direct current or the current electricity. Example, so electric fan uses electrical energy. So lightning is an example of electricity. It's a source of electricity. And of course, light bulb uses electrical energy. Number five, sound energy. So sound energy is the energy produced by vibrating objects. When objects vibrate, sound is produced. So when we talk, we produce sound energy. A switch on radio produces energy or sound energy. Same with when you pluck a guitar. So it also produces sound energy. Number six, we have thermal or heat energy. So thermal energy or also called heat energy is produced when a rise in temperature causes atoms and molecules to move faster and collide with each other. The thermal energy is the energy derived from the temperature of the heated substance. And last one is the nuclear energy. So nuclear energy is produced from the center or nucleus of an atom. So atoms are tiny units that make up all matters in the universe. And energy is what holds the nucleus together. There is a huge amount of energy in an atom's dense nucleus. So nuclear energy can be uh, produced through fission or fusion. So when you say fission, splitting a larger atom into two or more smaller atoms. While fusion, are joining two or more lighter atoms into a larger one. So it's quiz time, learners. So get a piece of paper and a ball pen and answer the following question. You are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your paper. So I will give you 10 seconds for each question. Number one. Okay, time is up. Number two. Time is up. Number three. Number four. And number five. So check your answers 